We, as the whole industry, is moving to NFV. There's just huge benefits in the reduction of infrastructure and the streamlining of operations. So this is not something that is like off on the side. This is a main issue that everybody is dealing with. So our plan is to move every piece of software that we have, anything that we sell, as quickly to the cloud, virtualized, and in NFV. And what I think is different about this year being at this show is there's action. People are deploying. Now there's been a lot of talk about this for the last few years, but there are major deployments going on in every region, across virtually every carrier. So what's exciting is it's now taking off. It's here and now. The trend is uh, simply, how do we streamline this massive infrastructure that's been built over the years? You know, the carriers are looking to, uh, to have flexibility. Um, they want to reduce their, their capex, right? It, it's been very difficult for the carriers to get the returns that they've been looking for, the IRR. So they want to be able to dramatically shrink down the capital investments required to compete in the marketplace. So that's, that's one thing that's, you know, how do we make the infrastructure more efficient? But beyond that is they realize that they have to get into service creation. Like that's, so there's the cost reduction side, but there's the revenue generation side, which is equally as important. How are we going to go after new things that can generate revenue? So getting into this virtualized environment allows them to be a more market capable company, right? Rather than engineering focus, which carries in their DNA. It's deep in the gene pool, it's building stuff. But now it's marketing stuff, right? And they're, and they're realizing they have to be more entrepreneurial. So this is what virtualization is going to allow. What embedded communications does, if you think about it, um, once you embed communications into an application, contextually, you, you bring benefit to it. So if you kind of think about any application thing, almost every app, some form of real-time communications, whether that's voice or video or messaging or chat or collaboration, is being built in contextually. So if you look at Uber, Uber doesn't provide business benefit without all the communications capability, the ability to track the, the vehicle approaching you, to get a message that he's arriving, to be able to call the driver to find out, is he across the street? It's that real-time communication that's contextually embedded that provides business benefit. So if you look at embedded communications, I think it's the biggest opportunity for the carriers because every app can be made better by embedding communications. Candy wasn't built specifically for roaming, but once again, since it's a virtual cloud, it doesn't distinguish where one user's location is. So if you think about the telcos in the old world, right, is they were very location-based, like you were in a home, uh, but they didn't have the relationship with the individual. They had the relationship with a physical destination rather than the person. But now people are mobile. Look, how many people are here today in Barcelona? Most of the people aren't from Barcelona, so they're moving around. It's a mobile workforce, okay? So when you go to this cloud environment, it doesn't care where you are. Roaming it becomes something archaic, something from the past that doesn't mean anything anymore. So roaming meant something because their carriers were in a certain jurisdiction, right? And they were tied to certain specific infrastructure in that jurisdiction. That world has all changed. So, Candy, it doesn't matter where you are, we can service you um, in any part of the world at any time with any app, and that's the beauty of the cloud. Well, as I, I mentioned, uh, embedded communications, but I think where, where everything is going is, is everything is moving into the cloud so that things can be enabled instantly. So if you think about it is, what is the next big thing? Oh, I don't know, I'm not a fortune teller, I'm not a predictor, but I know one thing is, there are things that are going to happen, and for the carriers, the key is, how are they going to respond? So in the old world, how they used to respond is they would look at the other carrier to their right and see what they were doing, the other carrier to the left and see what they were doing, and then they would try to, you know, gracefully find a way to compete with them, right? Now, in the new world, who are their competitors? It's companies like WhatsApp, it's Facebook, it's Amazon, it's all these startups. Their competitors are coming from everywhere. 
So where the real opportunity is, is having a cloud-based flexible infrastructure that can spot trends and respond to them instantly. So we're moving from this deliberate building and they will come to a fast fail. Because we don't know what's going to work. But if we try a lot of things, something's going to work. But to try a lot of things, you need something flexible. So if you have a collaborative environment, a CPaaS, if you have that type of infrastructure, you can fast fail. Keep trying things, it doesn't cost very much. And then when you find something that works, you just keep going. So I think that's where the real opportunity is, that for the carriers to change from this engineering focused infrastructure company to a fast moving software marketing and sales company.